Alright, so Leona, Diana. I like Diana plus Nocturne more myself, going all at Nightfall, but... Let's see, doing Daybreak and Nightfall together. We're gonna... Maybe keep all of these? Or get rid of the Sharp Sight? This, this looks kind of like what we had the first game. Where I didn't do too well. With curving Egghead Researcher into Reckless Trifarian. It is kind of an awkward 2-3, to be honest. Because Trifarian doesn't block. Egghead Researcher blocks, but I mean, it only... You know, it's a 1-3, so it's not keeping anybody from attacking. So obviously I did not want to draw a Might Might back-to-back. So do I attack in and let Pale Cascade trade? It's a pretty rough trade for me with Pale Cascade. Yeah, I guess not. I guess I just can't. This is going to be a tough game. Not over or anything, it's just gonna this is gonna be a tough one. Not the egg. Line up. Cool, get another egghead researcher. I don't think Reckless Trifarian is worth saving, but I think Fleet Feather Tracker is worth saving. I'll show you how it's done. The guilty were banned. No mercy for heretics. I guess they could randomly have a Withering Whale. Such a quick pass. So what do they want to do? They want to play Diana and challenge stuff with Diana. Might as well go to the next round and not let them be able to do stuff like that. Get back to like where I have like spell mana and everything like that. This. I like this trade. Just, just trading one mana T ones and clearing up the board a little bit. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see if the dragons are able to beat the Celestials. That'll be pretty interesting. So there was the Pale Cascade. From before. Sunlight 
I mean, you know, I'm either playing Egghead Researcher or Trifarian. Let's see. So if I play Research, so we're gonna have nine mana next turn. So I could have, I could have ten, um, which I guess ten's more important for Screeching Dragon Concerted Strike. Um, so yeah, maybe we did. Maybe we play Egghead Researcher. So Egghead Researcher created Inviolus Vox, which created Screeching Dragon, and then our other Egghead Researcher also created the Screeching Dragon. So they're creating a bunch of Celestial cards, and there's the Diana they wanted to play the last turn. So they're creating a bunch of Celestial cards. That's an easy block. This allows me to keep Concerted Strike available. I'm going to try to kill Diana. That's the goal. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Glorious light rains down. We are inevitable. Alright, good. Fused Firebrand. Ugh, another Diana. All right, so I'll concerted strike next turn. For that, I need to fix this this bug here. I don't like it. The sun's splendor reveals. A lot of cards over there. A lot of cards and a lot of mana. No more lies. Face your heretic. I will be heard. So yeah, this dragon's stunned. We don't get to block with that one. I was basically going to see if they did something and, you know, I was going to maybe have Might here. They didn't end up doing anything. So it's, it's alright. Well, maybe I should be playing the other Screeching Dragon, actually, first. Got a lot of celestial cards over there. I probably yeah, I should have played the other I should have played the other screeching dragon. The mountain knows me. I am the traveler. I wanted this thing to have five health over the Enviolus Fox being a seven eight. have two mites and then this will keep create a strafing strike so I'll have like two mites and a strafing strike I 
pretty heavy artillery. Back heretic. The guilty were bad. We consider. Ever vigilant. So the Mites can put these up to 9 and 9 power-wise. So let's see, that would be 8 extra damage here, and 7 extra damage there, 15 extra damage, which would be lethal. Sweet. Alright, what you got? Nothing. There we go. GG's. The Mighty Dragons. Burn all in dragon fire. Played against the Deep Deck. You know, like Aurora Porealis. Okay, this isn't too bad. Even though we're not doing anything on turn one or turn two, we do get to th save the three spell mana for Poro Snack, so it's it's not so bad. So now we can we can go double Poro Herder uh, this turn and draw two more Poros. I think that's probably what we do. Overcasting a mighty Boro. Now, where did that one run off to? Go and harvest it. Get some quick attack. Jaw Hunters is great again. Did you get him? All right, so we play in Trundle pre-combat. We attack it for six. That's a good Poro Snacks draw. I like that draw. I'm thinking about just attacking out and casting the Poro Snacks, and then casting Poro Herder after that. Do eight damage. King of Trolls coming through. All right, we'll go Trundle. Trundle is a difficult one to deal with. Getting really punished for playing Trundle. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought they were going to play Devour Adepts right there. That would have been sad. Alright, so we still got 8 damage in on them, but then we also got to play Trundle. And I guess I play Sejuani here, because I don't want to play Sejuani before combat, right? Like, we'll want to open attack. Because I don't want them to be able to get a new sapling and stuff. They're two away from deep. Mm, maybe we are going to want Sejuani next turn. Come on, come on. All right, we'll get 3-4 elusive. The, just the problem with playing Sejuani next turn, of course, is that then they get to... Um. <clears throat> then they get to play something and toss a couple of things and make a sapling to block. Alright, good part about Vile Feast is it takes up the spot. So if they play something new, they don't get a sapling because they'll run out of room. They don't get any sea monster yet. Too late for that. 
It's actually probably better to target the lifesteal thing than the Maokai. I guess that card's good. Ride onward. Down to two. Together at last. Come to me. Now you're just showing off. Now they're just showing off. Them under. Okay. You've gone and spoke. All right, so you're sticking out of atrocity range. Not let them draw new cards. I don't even know if that's worth it. It's probably not worth it. <sighs> Alright, so next turn we're gonna have nine mana. Yeah, we we wait for next turn for gotcha, so we'll have that that eight. We're gonna want ice pillar. And then those. Yeah, so this is what I want. I don't I don't care if they mill. Of killing them next turn. If the plan works, we're killing them next turn. So the the whole it's not like I have the mill just doesn't matter, right? Like I don't I don't have four turns to stay alive against these sea monsters anyway, so it's not that just doesn't matter. Oh no. Well, that's... That's not good. That's not good. I was counting on that Trundle. I was counting on the, the combination of Trundle, Sejuani, Mighty Poro, one of them overwhelming in and killing them. Which we can still do. Attack. We can still do. If they have vengeance or if they have atrocity, we're gonna lose. But if they don't, we can win. So I'm to exactly zero. That's why, this is why I kept Gotcha, was for this Overwhelm. That's why I kept Gotcha and Fury of the North. There we go. And that's why I played my Mighty Poro also, because I, I was planning on Trundle, Sejuani, Mighty Poro across the board and finding, finding the mismatch in the defense. Got there. Three and two. Same kind of matchup. I don't... <laughs> I'm not impressed with our deck at all. I don't I don't know how we're going to be winning these uh, these ramp games against these, these huge ramp decks. I don't, I don't know. Well... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think our deck's probably awesome against aggressive decks that are trying to, you know, small unit decks that are attacking a bunch. I think that we have just a, a bunch of really good defensive things, and uh, we can kind of set up a wall and win a late game. I think we're going to be awesome there, but these these ramp decks that just, you know, play 10-10 champions and, you know, these huge champions, and, and that they also have, you know, a bunch of vengeances and removal for our Tom Kench's... 
I don't, I don't know. I don't really know exactly what the game looks like that has us win, but we're going to keep trying. So we're, um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, uh, you know, I'm definitely passing there. I'm not going to allow them to ramp. So basically our problem, the reason why this is a bad matchup is because our pro the problem is is that deck like this has a very small, and so see they had the Catalyst of Aeons, that's why I didn't attack last turn and let them ramp like that the last turn. Where there's a will, there's a our deck doesn't have any kind of fast clock. All right, like, like we just don't, we don't attack for enough to kill our opponent before they get the very big champions. And even though we, we can eat some of the champions as we saw the last game, they don't really have like enough units for us to eat, and they also um, have really good removal. Um, I'm sure there's something for my taste. These KDA cards have, have increased. What what they definitely have done is they've increased the, the power of late games. And it makes it a lot harder to play. Like the KDA cards have definitely made it a lot harder to just to play mid range units. Because there's, you know, just like the variety of them, you know, with Field of Rush definitely being one, but then there's the other ones with you know, with Karma and the, the new KDA cards. They've made They're they're pushing like they're they're too powerful for for the for the other metagame like you know they're pushing out just playing mid range cards. So shaman opens me up to uh, opens me up to ruination, but I got like with our deck, I guess I really can't play around ruination to be honest. It doesn't feel like it. Yeah, and that's that's a good call. Maybe like we just need ramp and feel the rush, right? Not not play howling abyss, because yeah, like why Yeah, why spend seven mana to generate level two champions when we just get two 10-10 champions, especially two champions, you know, like Trundle, Tom Kench, just put two 10-10s into play. So yeah, honestly that's that's definitely a thing. That that may be what we need to do. Eat first, why let him level Trundle? Because if I spend mana using Acquire Taste on the Trundle, they just kill my Tom Kench and get their Trundle back. And then get another Ice Pillar and everything like that, so I'm not planning on eating the Trundle. So how that... <coughs> um, you know, didn't work out last game, seeing the Trindomirs. <sighs> Planned on just playing the Howling Abyss and trying to find... Powerful cards that can help us win. I'm sure there's something for my taste. One smack will do. Plus five. That's silly. Okay, I like the Bayou Brunch. Dragon, thank you so much for that resub. 
I appreciate that. The Rhyme Thing Shaman is really good in here. You know, being able to just challenge things with zero power. The right the Rhyme Thing Shaman, or sorry, the Rhyme Thing Wolf. The Rhyme Thing Wolf is great, you know, works great with the Shaman. I don't think that the, the Rhyme Thing Wolf is what you take out of this deck. But probably right before the KDA cards when there were a lot of discard burn and a lot of like a lot of bilgewater noxus when there were lots of that kind of stuff i bet this deck was pretty good um but now that it's just all now that just ramp is so powerful and the top end of ramp is so powerful and there's just ramp everywhere not looking good Tom Kench is going down to, to being a 2-4. That's two units. So hoping that somehow, for some reason, they can't kill Tom Kench. Of Making it, you know, a lot more difficult to atrocity. Right, like whenever clear everything up like that. Yeah. King of Trolls coming. Okay, what do we have in here? Three flash freeze, one harsh winds. Have I played a flash freeze or a harsh winds yet? I think we have to do this and look for flash freeze and harsh winds. Okay, so there's flash freeze. My comestibles are getting cold. We'll get we'll get an 08 back that the the zero eight can block Trendemir. Unfortunately, the the zero eight that's a play to refill your eight, eight mana. If only if it was like summon refill your eight mana, that would have been great. Cause then then we'd be looking at you know Katarina Draven that kind of stuff. The frost reveals all. Let us peruse this establishment fair. So I have to do this so I don't just die right away. Welcome to the tipsy hour. To atrocity. What will you have? Excuse my This could be bad of course. Attacking, so we get to obliterate. I know they can have Trindamir block the Tom Kench. That is them that. taking ten. And so um, I have like the, you know, the Fury of the North that can help um, kill them. Or obviously we have the Katarina that can allow us to attack again. Uh, Harsh Winds is great. Down to five. 
one blocker. I think we're okay still. Just playing Katarina Diana or Katarina Hired Gun. You know, they have like Vile Feast. Which I guess it's better to do Hired Gun. Because we can we can have the zero power, you know, challenge the Trindomir so they don't get to block with that. So I guess higher guns better than Diana. Oh come on, I do have Vile Feast. That still kills him though. Okay, good. Cool. We got to win. Good thing we went with higher gun. Wow, we beat Feel the Rush. How about that? It's gonna be good. <laughs> Speaking of ready for lunch, that's Harvey right here. Alright, what do we got? Misfortune Gangplank? Perfect. So I'm gonna keep the, the Rush Genevieve Elmhart combo for turn six. We have Inspiring Mentor Lucian. There's one sprint for each crab I saw today. Push back the darkness. Which, you know, we don't want to lead with the Blinding Assault because of... Burn away the shadows. Um, and I guess, I guess I just trade Mentor for that, I guess. Okay, they do not trade. Basically, it would make, make it rain. Um, I'm not sure. Question is, is why is Lucian a champion and Senna isn't? I don't know. You know, like, I I don't know. Yeah, I would... I guess isn't... From what I know... Now, I, I don't play League of Legends, so I'm not exactly sure. But from what I understand, Senna is a champion in League of Legends. They're as good as dead. You're adorable when you're angry. So they're just giving me leveled up Lucian if I want to take it. Nah. Because I just feel like I block with Senna, I level up my Lucian, and then they, um, yeah, then they like Noxion Fervor, kill my Lucian, and we're in a lot of trouble. Um, yeah, we'll just keep Repost available. Maybe I should have leveled up Lucian. They didn't seem like they had Noxion Fervors. For on the tree. Stay back. Stand and fight. Ten or twelve. Don't duck on my account. Aren't I supposed to get? Oh, right, right, right. New New Lucian would would level up in this case, or like you know we would get the attack token with New Lucian in this scenario, but we don't have New Lucian yet. You pay for this. We're gonna need more coffins. This definitely could be me just getting burned out to death. Hopefully not. You know, we got eight life. A lot of our life. The wood can't fight back, but I can. Maybe I should have gotten blinding assault first. Yeah, I guess I probably should have. I just, I was so focused on playing that, I didn't really adjust to drawing the Blinding Assault. I should have played that first. This is mercy. Try me. 
So we've gotten our extra attack with Lucian. We haven't done the scout attack yet. We're about to do the scout attack. Their pride will cost them. So there's the scout attack. Now we have our regular attack. I'll make corpses of a ball. No room for doubt. I, mean, I can attack like that. Do I just want... And then, you know, like, they, they have to block, you know, like, so they have to block with Gangplank. I guess I do that, but then that, they get to keep Powder Keg. Yeah, I guess they just get to keep Powder Keg. I'll cut my name into you. you know, it could challenge the Powder Keg, but no, can't, you know, like, with, like, the Lucian and challenge the Gangplank with the Genevieve. And so I, I could challenge both of those and keep them with the 2-2 instead of having them keep the Powder Keg. You have work to do. Get on it. So three out of five with gameplay. Yeah, quick attack on scouts is pretty awesome. Damage. Burn away the shadows. All right, pollution got there. GGS. Down to one. The only life we needed. We could have, you know, I could have stayed alive at least through that long, but. Okay, let's see. We got ramp, ramp. Do I want like ramp into Vi? I'd have the attack token turn four so I could kill a Weirding Stones. Maybe, I guess I'd have to play something else to be able to kill a Weirding Stones though. Cause Vi will only be a three, four. Give it all's been crazy, hasn't it? Even though, even though we lost that game, it was still pretty insane. Nothing escapes my watch. In Avarosa's name. King of trolls, coming through. They have no ramp at all. Smashing. Ready the torches. I don't know if I'm supposed to let them draw this card. Then maybe that card is like the ramp card they needed. Nope. But now maybe this next one is. And so they're a little ahead or something. I don't know. Yeah, the next one. That was finally the Weirding Stones. Basically, do I want to play Give It All this turn, or do I want to play Vi first? On the scene. Probably Vi first. Hey, Kitty Dexterity, thank you so much for the bits. This does mean they have a lot of things that can kill my Vi if they want to, like, Avalanche or something. Okay, they're just gonna flash freeze there. 
I'm gonna be ramping. So I'm hoping, <clears throat> I'm hoping we get to cast this give it all this next turn and have it resolve. I'll knock him dead. One way. I don't want it to get denied. So we're calling the Tavern Keeper first. Yeah, they're passing. I mean, I guess I go for it. I don't know. Maybe I don't go for it. Because they're probably going to have to, like, War Mothers, feel the rush, that kind of stuff, and then I could I could have it resolve then. Um, but basically, let's say I go to attacks next turn, and then they, like, harsh wins. Um, and so then I, like, pass again, and, like, I don't do any damage, and then they feel the rush on their turn, and then I cast Give It All at that point. Yeah, then we're good there. So, yeah, let's pass. Okay, so, yeah, that's, that's good. There's the flash freezes. Oh, and a stun. Snow Sunder, huh? Good as bone shiver. So I'd only give them five health right now. Oh, they they have deny available anyway. So yeah, I probably shouldn't do that. that if they play Feel the Rush and I play this, give it all, I think that we win that scenario, I think. I think that situation is good for us. Free and lonesome as a summer breeze. Foot. So we'll just do this. Smashing. Get ready for a beat down. Can't handle a little cold. So eleven mana. Also annoying, I don't get to don't get to like troll Ravager first before give it all. If they have another Swift Foot, that's of course bad for me. But feel the rush wouldn't be bad, and so I was kind of you know seeing if they would spend all their mana for feel the rush. Doesn't look like that's the case. No, I think they want a frostbite. One smack will do. Why am I challenging the 08 over here? I should just have my I should just have the 08s challenge the 08. I don't know why. Why am I even killing that 08? That's how we do it. Are you ever gonna play Field of Rush? Could have got yeah, could have gone for lethal with a vault breaker, but you know the the freezes are definitely it feels bad. King of trolls coming through. For the thrill of battle. So hopefully they don't have another Mina Swift butt.
These things are pretty big. So they'll have Challenger Tough, Overwhelm, and Regeneration. It's always cold in the Freljord. Yeah, if they're playing the same deck I played the other day, it'd be three Swiftfoot. And I played into that. Yep, playing a couple harsh wins. This is gonna be fun. I really messed up by challenging their 08 with my Vi. That's where I really messed this up. I should have just had my 08 challenge their 08 that I you know noticed right afterwards and mentioned right afterwards. I really messed up there. <laughs> that is a pretty strong hunk of ice, isn't it? Go, GG's leveled up by. Still finishes it out. Alright, two and one. Victorious.